Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a complaint, not really a complaint, but uh, a question that I got that is kind of pretty prominent throughout the, the channel. If, if you're somebody who is looking for this, odds are you won't find it here. Um, it'll be pretty rare. The person uh, reads mystery novels a lot, enjoys mystery novels, and they basically said, hey, you know, I, I really like the way you break down how, how something happened, what happened, the dynamics of what happened, why it happened in a general sense, but one of the things that I've noticed is that you, you never tell us the individual motives of the people that are involved, and I feel like I'm missing part of the story. Um, so, so the question is, why don't I provide motive for people that I'm talking about? And there's a short snarky answer, and then there's, there's a long answer, and we're going to give them both. Why don't I speculate as to motive? Um, because I like to be right. And, and determining motive, determining intent it is very hard unless you are talking to the person. Um, it's it's not it's not simple, and if you try to just wing it and guess, you end up speculating, and you get slogan answers. Why did these people do this on the sixth? Because they're traitors. I mean, sure, but that's that's not the that that doesn't help. That doesn't actually provide the real motive, the real intent. And when you start doing that, um, if if you start providing motive that you're not sure about, you can manipulate people. Um, if you go to the other channel, there's actually a, a long video titled The Roads to Misinformation. And one of the things that I caution people about, and the whole video is just ways to protect yourself um, against manipulation in the media, one of the things that I caution about is uh, people who assign intent, who provide motive. Um, it, it's hard. It, it's hard to do that accurately. Um, so, because I like being right, if I can provide all of the information other than that and say, this is what happened, this is the dynamics of what occurred, this is why it happened in the way that it did, I, I don't feel the need to get into the intent of the individuals. And then the other part um, that, that, that's a little bit longer of an answer is, is that people want a motive. It, it's even in the message. I should have read it. Um, it. It's a motive. Don't provide a motive for the people involved. People don't have a motive. People have motives. More than one. You know, as far as what happened on the 6th, and the politicians that provided cover for what occurred. Some of them probably did so because they truly want some authoritarian, strong man, fasci leader, right? Some didn't understand the danger and were just, politics is normal, and then things got out of hand. Some were doing it because they were making a lot of money off that rhetoric. Some were probably not smart enough to understand how they themselves were being manipulated. Some didn't have the courage to stand up to larger figures within the party. Some were probably at some point approached by someone who was like, hey, you know that thing you did? It'd be a real shame if uh, people found out about that. These are a whole bunch of different motives that could apply to different individuals. But the thing is, odds are that most people who participated in it that they had more than one of those. And even if you were able to isolate all the possible motives for a single person, you have no idea which one was the primary one. And sometimes from the outside, the one that appears to be the primary motive, it's not. It's just the most visible. I, I take a, a lot of uh, pride I guess, 
in, in providing the most accurate information that I can. I don't like trying to speculate about motive because I'm not going to be accurate. Um, I won't be right, and it'll leave you with my best guess. Sometimes I'll provide a general motive, like the way I just did. These things right here could be the reasons for it. But when you get to an individual person and their actions, it's, uh, it's really hard to pin down all of their motives and then to select the one that was primary in, in, in their actions. Um, so the, the simple answer is I don't do it because I like to be right. The long answer is I like to be right and I think that doing it, if, you're, if you can't be accurate, it is dangerous because it increases that slogan bumper sticker mentality and it further polarizes things when we, we probably don't need that right now. We need to get down to the nuts and bolts of what occurred, figure out how to make sure it doesn't occur again, and we can examine the motives of people later, um, the individual motives. Right now, because this is a national issue that has a lot of urgency, I think it's more important to talk about the group dynamics and, and the actual events and the order they occurred and how things occur historically. I think that's far more important than delving into Representative X did this because, you know, he was insulted by this other person five years ago. Um, people's motives for doing things, especially things that are like this, are often uh, very private. So speculating on them is hard if you care about accuracy. Anyway, it's just a thought. Have a good day.